All right, guys, here we are. We will be doing my lucky 17 combo. And you can easily end up negative, and you can easily end up positive. And I have turned the sound and the music and all that off. Hopefully we don't hear her say final bets and all that. And with a fresh start, you can do this with a budget-friendly system. But we are going to pick the 17 numbers that I prefer to have. And no specific order. I've, after playing so many times, I've just seen some variation of these numbers come up more often, so I felt like picking them. And uh, you can do whatever you like with it. And you have an $85 bid total, uh, $800. If you don't, Martingale, that gives you somewhere like eight or nine. I'm not sure with the five, if it's gonna make a difference. Uh, but say even if you want to take out one of those, you have 10 tries and actually a little bit better payout. But we're going to do 85. And yep, we're going to start fresh. And the reason I like Lucky 17 is because you're bidding just under half the board. So when you win, you win all your bid back plus 10. Which is nice, because if you miss one and then win one, you're up $10. And it's a lot of money to bid to win $10, but you're not spending three or four spins just to make your money back off of a loss. And 30 is a loss. And even though I do martingale this system, I'm not going to do it on the first loss. And 27 and this here is why we were up $95 and now we are up 105 like I said plus 10 for win lose win lose and uh, I don't know the number off the top of my head but the same thing for the ones if you bid 17 one dollar bids Win one, lose one, win one, lose one. You're going to be up, oh, I want to say probably a dollar or two per spin, or per two spins. And 18 was a loss, so we're just going to rebet, being that it was the first loss in a row. And 31. And now is where we martingale. Fifteen. Now, if you have more than $800 buy-in, which I'm going to try to stick true to the $800 buy-in, um, you would be able to martingale again, and it would actually be preferred, because after you miss, after martingaling, and you then you hit on the second one, you will still be down money from how much you've total bid. But we're going to leave this one as is. You know, keep true to the system, no matter how good or how bad. 35 came back a bit. And 190. And let's see where we are. We are now minus 45. So, I'm going to just delete this until we get to the original $85 bid. Each of these have $5 on it for 17 numbers. Eight. That's a good one. And we're working our way back into profit. Now this is literally with 17 numbers bid. That means you have 19 numbers. Uh, yes, 19 numbers to donk or 20 or 21, depending on if you're playing double zero, triple zero Z, uh, wheel. And one loss, so we're just going to rebet. 23 
We go back up ten more dollars total. So rebet. Nine. I lost. Rebet. And as you can see, the session win is up and down quite a bit. Might even stay down, might even stay up. Just depends on if you decide to change your numbers or how lucky you are or a combination of the both. So after two losses in a row, we are going to Martingale. And the goal here uh, with an $800 buy-in which I really wish I could show you a good one. Oops. Um, I want to get to a $500 win, you know, just over half ROI, uh, return of interest or investment, return of investment, sorry. And that was the first loss with the 170, so we will do it again. And 20. Now let's see if that busts us. Minus 450. And 340 is 790. So if we don't hit this one, we would be down to our last $10. Let's see if we can get lucky. 18. All right, that is a flop. This may be why my system didn't get picked because there's just a whole bunch of ways to miss and not near as many way or nearly as many ways to win. But when you have over half the board being misses, it's just not going to go well. But let's keep it going. Let's say we bought in for 1200 and oh, zero. All right, second loss there. And I actually could not make this bid had I came in with 1200. But that was a loss. For some reason I thought it was a win. All right, we're gonna break pattern here with one loss there. I'm just gonna go ahead and up it because the bankroll on this game is incredibly high with no maximums. And I'm just gonna see if I can get to get my money back. And no big deal if I don't. If I get down to minus 7,000, maybe 10,000, I'll just call it a day. And as you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine numbers showing. I think it was actually nine in a row too uh, that completely missed me. So let's see, yeah, this will take me to 10,000 loss, 15, ha, <laughs> that's at least 10 numbers in a row that missed. Like I said, a lot of spots to miss your shots, and just under half the board that you can win your shots. I think it's just trying to be mean to me since I'm recording, but I don't know. You all have fun. Um... If you do this system, maybe try the budget-friendly system uh, or just play it on a video game and see how it comes out. Decide if you like it yourself.